Welcome to Fort Smith and hop on board. We're headed for the perfect place for your next group tour, convention, meeting, or vacation. It's where the New South meets the Old West. This is the site of the original Fort Smith. Part of it is still preserved by the National Park Service. It's open to visitors and the Park Service can make special accommodations for group tours. Years ago, this was the Wild Wild West. Today it translates into rides, entertainment, attractions, events, shopping, dining, and music that reflects this early frontier heritage. Right over there is Garrison Avenue. Before the Civil War, soldiers paraded there. The 49ers left from here to California, and the Butterfield stage pulled out of here into Indian Territory and on to San Francisco. These days, it's the heart of the commercial district during the day and the center of entertainment at night. Restaurants, night spots, and great music are right here. In the early 1900s, the streetcar went to what they called Electric Park. Today, it's still a very busy event location. Its official name is K. Rogers Park, but most folks call it the Fairgrounds. It features the 9,000-seat Harper Stadium and a brand new 40,000 square foot exhibition building. They host events all year long and are the home of the annual Old Fort Days Rodeo and the Arkansas-Oklahoma State Fair. We're headed for the Fort Smith Museum of History where you can get off the streetcar. Going one way, you enter the National Park. Going the other way, you head for the hotels, restaurants, and more shopping. Just five blocks up the street is the new convention center. I'm sure you'll have a great time in Fort Smith. It's where the New South meets the Old West. All aboard for a trip from the Old West to the New South. Our next stop is the new Fort Smith Convention Center. This 140,000 square foot facility is one of the premier exhibition centers in Arkansas. From the moment you enter its foyer, you know you're in a landmark building. The rotundas are designed for receptions. The registration area is wired to the internet and phone system. And the parking is ample, available, and free. The main exhibition hall is 40,000 square feet, and we can subdivide it into smaller spaces. Multiple catering kitchens mean it can support more than one event at a time, and the breakout rooms are immediately adjacent to the exhibition hall. The Arkansas Best Performing Arts Center is part of the convention center. This beautiful facility seats 1,124 people and has movable seating for 107 more. Backstage, everything is completely state-of-the-art. Multiple loading docks accommodate 53-foot trailers from off-street access, and that makes move-in and move-out easy. From planning through performance, our professional staff helps smooth the way for you. And because Fort Smith is so affordable, operating personnel rates are very reasonable. Yes, <laughs> the Fort Smith Convention Center is what the New South is all about. Energy, enthusiasm, professionalism, quality, value, and beauty. To really see what we mean, check on to our website and get all the details. Our next stop is Miss Laura's Visitor Center. It's also the home of the Fort Smith Convention and Visitors Bureau. This old landmark hotel from the late 1800s was the first former bordello on the National Register of Historic Places. <laughs> it was one of what they called social clubs along the riverfront, and it's been restored to give you an idea of what these establishments looked like in their heydays. Well, here we are. Welcome to Miss Laura's and come on in. I'm Miss Laura and I'll show you around a little. Miss Laura's is a visitor attraction in its own right, but upstairs, in addition to the bedrooms, are the offices of the Fort Smith Convention and Visitors Bureau. 
These talented people are eager to help make your Fort Smith visit great, filled with entertainment and activities. They are the first people to call when you're planning your event, meeting, or convention. For pre-planning assistance, customized bid proposals, and registration assistance, the Convention and Visitors Bureau is ready to help. They take care of everything from bid proposal packets to lodging and banquet choices, group hotel rates, and VIP greetings from local dignitaries. Want to make your group feel extra special? Uh, with prior arrangements, Miss Laura herself will greet your group, give them a tour of the old bordello, and entertain them with her group of players at a restaurant or location of your choice. The Convention and Visitors Bureau staff will also customize itineraries to fit every budget. They'll help with all your arrangements with pleasure. Step-on guides are available to join your group who are entertaining, enthusiastic, and as colorful as our frontier history. Right now, these folks are boarding our trolley bus for a guided tour of Fort Smith's downtown area and our 22 block Bell Grove Historic District. Let's talk about all the attractions in Fort Smith. By day, Fort Smith has year-round attractions to fill a week with fascinating sights, tours, and a close-up look at the Old West. Start right here at Miss Laura's and then head to the National Historic Site. It's only a few blocks away and it's filled with exhibits that bring to life America's colorful and sometimes rowdy frontier heritage. To be honest, it takes a day to see it all. Across the street is the Fort Smith Museum of History. In addition to its imaginative exhibits with a self-guided recorded tour, the museum has an old-time soda fountain right out of the 1920s. Then, one stop away on the streetcar line is the Trolley Museum and Car Barn. Interested in railroad nostalgia? They have a steam locomotive and several antique railroad cars there. Take a stroll through the 22 square block Bell Grove Historic District. On most days you can tour the majestic old Clayton House, the Vaughn Schapp House, which is now the Fort Smith Art Center, and the Darby Museum, the childhood home of World War II hero General William O. Darby, who started the Army Rangers. Looking for both nostalgia and breathtaking scenery? Take a train trip into the Ozarks aboard the antique coaches of the A&M Railroad. It's a spectacular route through tunnels and over tall trestles. It's one of the longest railroad excursion trips available. Nearby are wineries, living history museums, casinos, and a host of unique live entertainment venues. There are several Civil War battlefield national parks close by. And the unbelievable beauty of the nearby Ozark, Boston, Washita, and Kaimichi Mountains will take your breath away. By night, Fort Smith has music to meet every taste from blues to Bach and from hard rock to bluegrass. Outdoor music happens almost every night from April to October. And for a hearty laugh and some surprisingly good singing, Miss Laura's Prayers will stage a performance of the Medicine Show on Hanging Day. Woo! <laughs> Be sure to stay for a weekend. The calendar is always filled with festivals, craft shows, special events, and concerts to make your trip to Fort Smith a time to remember. You know, getting to Fort Smith is really a pleasure for most people. If you want to drive, the city is within a day's drive of every major city from Amarillo to Nashville and from New Orleans to Omaha. And if you want to fly, the Fort Smith Regional Airport is one of the most beautiful terminals in the nation. From Miss Laura's here, it's only eight blocks to the new convention center and the largest of Fort Smith's downtown hotels. You'll find 400 newly redecorated hotel rooms in downtown Fort Smith, and more are on the way. Within 12 minutes of the convention center, you'll find more than 1,400 new or newly redecorated hotel rooms. 
Log on to the Fort Smith Convention and Visitors website at www.fortsmith.org for the complete story about everything from bid proposals and itinerary preparation to festival schedules and restaurant selections. Come on to Fort Smith. It's where the New South meets the Old West, and you'll love what happens when they both come together.